What is up, everybody? This is ZZ Easy Street Gaming. For you, one of Brutal Age's best four stars. It's the Blue Black Shaman. Probably a, a must have in everyone's arsenal. Just so you know, make sure you, you save all of your red, all your green shamans, feed it to the blue. I wouldn't suggest building any one of those. We'll go right through his, his abilities real quick. First skill is called Destructive Flame. And this is an attack one. Attack one. And he'll also get an upgrade on this on his third awakening. So th that's his attack one. Next one, next two attacks actually are both attack team, which makes him a real dangerous attacker because he's a stun. He's a stun partner. Speed with for a leader skill. Second skill is called Heating Soul, and it attacks everyone two times. It doesn't do quite as much as the third skill, Chaos Drops, and this is an attack and possibly stun everyone. And with the war patterns that most everyone uses with him, there's a really good chance that you stun a lot of a lot of the other team. I know a lot of people get discouraged with him, but if you get all of his skills maxed out, you, you won't be disappointed. He's really good. Now, Destructive Flame at Third Awakening, it changes a lot. It goes from attacking one person one time to a 30% chance to, to attack again. And remember, this skill kind of stacks on top of the already part of it, which is the, the, the critical rate. If it's a, you add 30% to the next one round to your critical rate. You have a pretty good chance of getting a second attack in once you get to the third awakening his legion skill plus 40 morale for shamans and remember you have to, he has to live through the attack in order to get the bonus for the legion skills the leader skill is speed probably the best leader skill there is if you're faster than everyone you get more attacks in sometimes the first attack matters the most especially when you're playing against another good player now in the game you know i, I don't usually agree with a lot of the stuff in, in this hot choice in game this is just what other people are doing but in this case they're pretty much spot on they have sire wolf as the most most used war patterns they, they definitely have to be i think sire is going to be used in every single every single uh configuration he's a stun partner you want to enhance that with with sire some people want to put add some health some people want to add a little resistance but uh sire wolf you want her you want his critical rate to be up as high as you can and something else to keep in mind you, you can't increase sire's stun rate with hit so it can combat resistance a little bit. So with hit, you can you can lower you can fight the resistance. So it, it still does help, but I wouldn't use hit as a right hand. Uh, I wouldn't implement that in the right hand at all. So left hand speed. I'm going to show you two different ways to build build the shaman. A popular both ways are popular, and then we're going to kind of prove which one's better. Uh, head was critical rate, and on the right hand was was hit point. And I think the theory was uh, get his health up as high as you can, and then uh, you, you'll use the stun and you'll use the critical rate to, to help do the damage. The other way to build him, head, attack, right hand, attack. And I'm actually got another war pattern I'm working on. I just like to show everyone that you work on these war patterns while you still have one attached to the, to the partner. And you find one better, you just start building it without attaching it yet. This is the most commonly used team around the, the, blue, the blue black shaman and so this is going to be the test run we're going to have two different shamans fighting one's going to with two different configurations and i've, I've le literally kept track of every hit that way we can kind of at the end we can we can compare notes and see if it is better to have a higher defense and a and I mean, not a higher defense a higher critical rate and a higher health other, other than just having straight attack and what I did is I, I ran them both solo through a level that he can have problems with because of the because of the green boar. I know that an adventure that it doesn't usually challenge the partners that much, but uh, going by him, going by himself and having to face the green boar, which is a stun partner, and and the green partners give the blue partners a problem. They're they're restraining them. So although the valleys don't don't pose much of a threat. <laughs> So this this shaman here, he's got the he, he's the one that has the higher health, the higher critical rate. So you really want to what I'm looking for to see how many of the bonus hits he gets in. If he gets more bonus hits in than the other configuration, uh, and how many times he has to play defense, how many times he gets, how many critical rate shots he gets in, and and what kind of damage he's doing because he doesn't have that high attack. And what we end up seeing is 
I kind of felt it coming right at the end that he the, the green boar was going to get the better of him. And he does. Now that could have played out differently, but it didn't. <laughs> so on average, about 3,500 for a critical rate attack, 1,300 for a regular attack. He got hit a bunch of times. So he, he managed to live a long time, but he just got hit so many times. because. Now this shaman, he's got left hand speed, attack on his helmet, head, attack on the right arm. So there should be a big difference as far as how much damage he's doing. And you can see he the first time that he got critical rate damage, he got 5885. So that's about 2,000 more than the other one was doing. And even though he doesn't, his critical rate isn't out as high, he's getting just as many critical rate attacks so far. And he's having to play defense a lot less because he's just killing everything that much faster. So for new players out there, the blue black shaman, he's your first control player He's he, or a partner. He's going to control the other team. He's going to stun everyone. He's got two team attacks. So he'll be the most valuable partner you have right away at least until you start getting five stars. This is definitely something you want. Definitely something you want to get. By the looks of it, he's going to take this one. So one-on-one -on -one attack worked a little better. So for him, his critical rate attack on average was 5,000. Non-critical rate, 3,000. He got 21 critical strikes. He got 13 defenses, way less. So the results, offense is the best defense for sure. Left hand speed, helmet attack, right, right hand attack. That's what I would go with. So the breakdown on the blue black shaman. With a Saya war pattern, he gets a lot of stuns in. He also, that, that, that bonus attack he gets when he hits multiple times, that can actually overcome the heals and the artifacts. That comes in big later on. Uh, the, the con he has, he doesn't have a big single shot power. He can't just kill someone in one shot. But he makes up for it with the stuns. His health, we, we rate them all. Health 4, attack 4, leader skill 3, passive or, or active skill 5, team attack 5. That's a 4 plus total. That means he can fight with he can fight with the five stars. He's rated number three on Easy's list as far as uh, four star partners. Only the only the green catfish and the and the red ghost rated higher. So definitely go out and get get the blue black shaman top rated four star partner. Thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe to the channel. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.